All right, well, it is time now for May's ADP Employment Report. Steve Leisman has the number. Hey, Steve. Hey, Mike. Yeah, uh, 128,000 ADP uh, payrolls uh, suggesting that the government reporting for the private sector, 128,000. They revised April to 202,000. That's down from 247,000. Uh, let's look at the details here. Uh, the esti- This is less than half of the estimate of almost 300,000 expected. Uh, there's the April revision. Good sector, up 24,000. Service sector, uh, up 104. It seems like a lot, but it's a disappointment compared to where we need to be and what we've been doing there. There's the non-farm payroll estimate. Uh, just for the record, ADP has not done a particularly good job of forecasting uh, during the pandemic, and the government itself has also done massive revisions. But this uh, uh, jobs by business size is interesting. Interesting here. We have seen small business and have other anecdotal information as well as other data that small business has struggled to hire relative to large businesses, which are willing to pay uh, higher salaries and better benefits. So there's small business falling by 91,000. Those are businesses with fewer than 50 employees, whereas large businesses are up by 122,000. By industry, leisure and hospitality leading, but Clearly not enough. Uh, that sector may be struggling here now uh, after leading the way regarding um, uh, coming back from the pandemic. Trade, transport, utilities, professional business services up 23,000. Education and health up 46,000. And manufacturing, that's pretty good. And that maybe reflects what we saw in the ISM manufacturing yesterday up 22,000. Tomorrow, guys, on the exchange, we're going to be talking to Cleveland Fed President Loretta Mester. Uh, Mike, um, don't know quite what to do with this. We keep reporting ADP, even though it's done poorly during the pandemic, in hopes that it eventually gets back to its, you know, better self and better days when it was plus or minus 50,000. Right now, plus or minus 200,000 is not crazy, and 600 or 700,000 is also in the realm. Right. Yeah. I mean, clearly no uh, no sampling model or anything was built to, uh, to to figure out exactly what's been going on the last couple of years, although the relative right. strength or weakness in leisure hospitality seems to resonate. That seems to be uh, a little bit of a cooling off area of the economy when it comes to wage growth, too, which I guess is something we're all going to be fixated on Friday morning as well. Yeah, very quickly, uh, Mike, uh, home base, you know, that's one of the uh, uh, HR uh, software providers who's, who provides data about employment. Uh, they're reporting some early signs of leveling off in wages. We maybe saw some hints of that yesterday in the beige book. Uh, so that's something to watch. And, and, and our survey also has some suggestion that uh, at least workers th- that have received their uh, th- have received uh, pay raises are also satisfied with their jobs. So maybe, maybe, maybe it's really hard to know. I don't have uh, the algorithm in my head for figuring out this pandemic either. So, but maybe we are getting close to some equilibrium point here in wages.